A gadget is a little window that provides specific information at a glance, like today's weather or date. And it was first introduced in the previous version of Windows, Vista. And you can only add gadgets or windows over on the right hand side in, in what was known as the sidebar. Well, in Windows 7, you can add gadgets anywhere on your desktop. To find a list of gadgets that are available and to start adding them to your desktop, just find a blank area somewhere on your desktop and give it a right click. And then go down and click on Gadgets. Here's a list of all these little windows or gadgets that provide information at a glance. And if you want to add one to your desktop, then just go ahead and double click on it. And it adds the calendar to the desktop. If you're not sure what some of these gadgets are or what they'll do, like a slideshow, go ahead and select it and then down below click on the Expand button to get the details of this. And it says the slideshow will show a continuous slideshow of your pictures. Pretty cool. So yes, double click and weather. And notice how when I double click it adds it over to the right hand side by default. Double click on the weather. And if I want more gadgets, then I can come up here and click on the arrow. And it looks like on page 202 there's only one more. I'll go ahead and go back. Of course, down in the lower right hand corner, it has a link to get more gadgets online. Just click on that. It'll open up a web page and you can search through all the gadgets. Now some of the gadgets are submitted by other people. Not all of them are from Microsoft. And it'll have a disclaimer saying, look, if you trust the coding that these people use to create these little gadgets or windows with, go ahead and download them, but we're not going to guarantee, or, or Microsoft isn't going to guarantee that they'll work, or you won't have issues on your computer. But at least these default ones right here that came with Windows 7, I trust. I'm going to go ahead and close out of here. Now, when you put a gadget on your desktop and you want to customize it, for example, like I'm not from New York, I'm going to go ahead and when I hover over the gadget, you see that little wrench? Those are the options. You can click on that to bring up the options for the weather. So you can go ahead and type in your location, your zip code, or click cancel. You can also right click on the gadget and come down here and get the same thing. Options, click on that. Click in the field down below, type in 84117, which is my zip code. Hit enter. I'm in Salt Lake. Click OK. And wow, it's pretty cold here in Salt Lake, 19 degrees come up here notice how that these little slideshow pictures are going every other 10 or 15 seconds I'm gonna go ahead and right click on that come down and go to options and instead of every 15 seconds maybe something that's not so fast and crazy every two minutes go ahead and switch pictures and instead of just popping from picture to picture I can say go ahead and transition like a nice fade effect and then by default it's pulling the pictures from the pictures library folder if you have another folder that has pictures like of your family, friends, or whatever, you can go ahead and click on this little ellipsis button, three little dots, click on it, and it'll say, okay, where's the folder that contains the pictures you would like displayed over in the little picture gadget or slideshow gadget? Well, there's the exercises folder. Click okie dokie, and then click OK. Now notice what happens. In my exercises folder, when I double click and open it up, You'll notice that I've only got, well, one, two, three pictures in here. So even though I have other stuff within the folder, if it's not a picture, it's not going to display it over here, okay? So what I like doing is creating a little folder over here, calling it my pictures folder, and then put a bunch of pictures in there, maybe a separate folder for the holidays, one for Halloween, one for Christmas. When it's Christmas, I can go ahead and customize the slideshow gadget to point to the pictures in the Christmas folder, Halloween folder, and so on. It's kind of nice, new, something different to look at besides the plain old desktop here. Close out of that. Then I have the calendar, today's date. When I double click on it, it changes it to the monthly view here instead of the days view. Then I can go ahead and scroll back and forth. Now, like I said, this was first introduced in Windows Vista, and you can only display your gadgets over here on the sidebar. Well, you don't have a sidebar here in Windows 7. You can just come up here and click and drag and move your gadgets by clicking and dragging anywhere on your desktop. Looks like a mess, but that's up to you if you want to be able to organize them and put them in the upper right hand corner, left hand corner, or if you have two monitors, and this is my second monitor, I can move them over there. And then of course when you're done with these, you can hover over any one of them and click on the X and close out. Come down here and right click, close gadget, and if you need to bring them back, again, Find a blank area on the desktop, right click and go down to gadgets and there they are. Bring them back with a simple double click. By the way, if you're curious, these are all shortcuts. If you want to be able to find your desktop gadgets, not by right clicking, then just come down here, click on the start button, go to all programs, and then up here you can see where it says desktop gadget gallery. Click on that. Brings up the same window, okay?
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.